You know, I'll bet a lot of you do not save the collars, the collar section, from your salmon, from your yellowtail, uh, from your tuna. You know, the, the yellowtail collars, the hamachi collars, go for a whole lot of money. These are prized. The collar, there's a lot of flavor there. You're getting the flavor from the bones. You're getting the flavor from that rich, rich meat. So rather than just taking the fillets, and what a lot of other people do with their salmon, is they'll take that belly section and throw it away. That belly section makes incredible. Uh, it's like bacon. You just season it with some high mountain salmon rub, uh, a little bit of brown sugar, and put it in your smoker. <laughs> There's nothing like smoked salmon bellies. But back to the collars. If you go to an Asian restaurant and you see hamachi collars, get it. It's a little expensive. But again, the flavor is incredible. I've just got a little low sodium soy sauce here. I'm using some high mountain rib rub. Because they're just kind of like ribs and you know, salmon, tuna, a lot of these bigger fish, the ribs are really good. Uh, my friend Tommy Gomes, Tommy the fishmonger, uses these, uses the little rib bones like toothpicks. There's some of the high mountain rib rub. Here's a little toasted sesame oil. And a little toasted sesame oil goes a long way. I've got some old limes I want to use up. They're ugly on the outside, but still juicy on the inside. And I'll hit it with a little bit more lime when it comes off the grill. This is going to go into a Camp Chef Smoke Pro. Uh, the Camp Chef Smoke Pro is going to add some smoky flavor to it. You know, the pellet grills in general are not super, super high as far as searing. I don't know any of them that sear, but Camp Chef has the sidekick. They also have a sear box that when you take it off the pellet grill, it gets it nice All and right, toasty so brown. Grilled onions. green and red onion. This is my salmon collar. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's so good it's just crazy good and you got to kind of pick at this with your hands this is not this isn't polite food here I've got a little pickled ginger kind of a palate cleanser there if you wanted to put a little wasabi on here that's okay here's some lime what to do with an old tired lime put it on top of your salmon collar and I like it a little spicy, but not everybody does. So what I do is I'll take some sriracha and I'll go around the outside. That way, the hot part is optional. But the cool part is you take the salmon collar, tuna collar, yellowtail collar, don't really care, just a collar with some nice meat on it. Put it into your smoke pro. That's going to give it some flavor. If you're fortunate enough to have a sidekick or a sear box next, right next to it, which if you don't have a camp chef, you don't have that. Get it crispy on the outside and it is absolutely delicious.